Opening this month in Centerpoint displays Iowa's connection to the first pilot to make a transatlantic flight. KCRG TV 9's Becky Phelps tells us about a crash landing 100 years ago that helped lead to that historic trip. This is the instrument panel of the Ryan NYP or the Spirit of St. Louis. Charles Lindbergh made history flying the first solo non-stop transatlantic flight in 1927. But on a lesser known flight four years earlier, he crashed in Linn County. Very few people realize that he, so to speak, uh, earned his wings uh, here in Iowa as a barnstormer traveling throughout the Midwest offering rides to the people. While flying on a foggy day in 1923, Lindbergh ran out of gas and had to make a controlled crash landing just outside of Robbins. This exhibit by local historian David Wendell tells the story of Lindbergh's Iowa ties. Iowa did play a major part in his career. If it had not been for the controlled crash landing in Iowa, Lindbergh most likely would not have joined the Army Air Corps, and uh, if he had not joined the Army Air Corps, would not have had the credentials probably to, to fly uh, the Atlantic. It also puts on display other pilots with Iowa connections. Jerome Hunsaker of Crescent designed the aircraft that made the first transatlantic flight in 1919. The NC-4, titled the Chicago, as it looked skimming the waves across the Atlantic. An Iowan named Clarence Chamberlain nearly beat Lindbergh across the Atlantic, making the same trip two weeks later. Unfortunately, due to a legal uh, dispute over publicity for the flight, it was delayed and that allowed Charles Lindbergh to launch first. Chamberlain does hold the title of being the first man to fly from the U.S. to Germany. Even Amelia Earhart has roots in Iowa. She saw an aircraft flying in Des Moines as she was a very young child, which she credits for inspiring her to an aviation career. And it was an Iowan by the name of Nita Snook who gave her her first flying lessons. The exhibit Lindbergh landed here will open with a dedication ceremony at the Center Point Historical Society on May 21st. In Centerpoint, Becky Phelps, KCRG TV9 News.